My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Dear brothers and sisters, our um, viewers of the uh, live streaming, uh, good uh, evening, uh, everybody. So, um, after uh, the Christmas uh, uh, season or uh, our uh, celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, the question that we are uh, invited to reflect on is what kind of person was uh, <clears throat> Jesus Christ who was born in Bethlehem? So, uh, ano bang ori? What is the perception? And um, when he went to his uh, hometown where he grew up, according to the scriptures, that, um, he uh, read uh, the uh, scroll and found the passage where it is written about the uh, Messiah that would come during the time of uh, this uh, Israeli and this uh, Jews. And um, when our Lord finished uh, reading, he said, uh, this uh, thing that I have read you, he said, uh, today the scripture par passage is fulfilled. In your hearing so in other words the Messiah who uh, lived uh, uh, hundreds of years before Christ in his writing said that uh, it would be uh, the uh, Messiah when the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor but in spite of all this, my dear brothers and sisters, the uh, compatriots or countrymen of our Lord um, did not accept him as uh, the uh, Messiah that was said in the scriptures. And so uh, they rejected our Lord Jesus Christ. That is why uh, it was very, very uh, unfortunate and very sad that he who had done a lot of good things in his own uh, countrymen among his countrymen rejected Jesus Christ well of course this is already uh, history and we know that until now the Jews uh, still have their own religion and they do not consider our Lord as the Messiah. Alam nyo po, nung ako ay uh, nag-pilgrimage um, <coughs> sa Holy Land some years ago, um, well, we were going around Jerusalem. And then, uh, when we passed by, there was a certain uh, huge uh, mausoleum. And then, a uh, lady in uh, stopped us and said why don't you also come in uh, this is the uh, mausoleum of King David and of course we uh, <clears throat> uh, honored the invitation and we went inside there were also people inside and they were, we were viewing the uh, uh, big uh, uh, mausoleum or coffin of King David King David was, of course, the number one uh, hero of the uh, Jews, and they considered him as uh, the Messiah who will come again during their time. And so, while the lady was uh, uh, showing to us that mausoleum and was uh, telling us about the importance of that mausoleum, alam nyo po, tinanong ko, ay ma'am, um, how about Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus Christ, uh, well, 
is uh, the Messiah that we know of. Alam niyo po itong uh, guide, ju kumulubot yung kanyang uh, mukha at uh, siya po ay uh, nagalit. Sabi niya, we do not uh, accept uh, Jesus Christ. He was an impostor. He divided our country. And uh, we do not believe in him. Alam niyo po, natakot ako. Dahil, well, my, I think my uh, question was very, very, uh, was very uh, innocent. But you see how these uh, Jews uh, uh, rejected and didn't like Jesus Christ to be the Messiah. At alam niyo po, dahil dito, ako ay... Uh, napahiya dahil maraming mga pilgrims around and um, so dahan-dahan na lamang po kong umatras palabas dahil sinabi ko sa sarili ko baka mayroon pang may lilibing dito na isa pa sabi ko <laughs> at baka ako ang may lilibing dito so galit po nitong guide well my dear brothers and sisters um It is true that uh, uh, the Messiah uh, was rejected by his countrymen until now. And we, in a way, are very fortunate. We are very lucky because we Filipinos are uh, really uh, uh, religious. We would not, uh, we would not uh, reject our Lord Jesus Christ. We are God-fearing. And uh, this is what uh, is good with us. But there are also times in our lives that we reject our Lord. And what do I mean by this? So for example, the teachings, the commands of our Lord, when we do not, uh, when we do not accept them, it is very difficult for us to, uh, to obey the commandments of God. And his will. One time, I had uh, relatives, and there was a knee, uh, an aunt, and a uh, uh, cousin who were uh, quarreling with one another. And for around five years, they were not in talking terms with. And you know, I called one of them, the elder uh, relative, and I said. Um, you know, you have not been talking with one another. Why don't you think of, uh, you know, forgiving and uh, try to greet one another? And that might be the start of forgiveness and reconciliation. So, uh, this is the will of God, I said. And you know, she told me, at muntik na kung mahulog to upuan, sabi niya, Father, pwede ba? Wag natin isama ang Panginoong Diyos dito sa usapan na ito, ha? O ba, sabi ko, bakit hindi naman natin isasama si Lord? When our Lord tells us that you must forgive your enemy, you must forgive persons you're not in good terms with. Well, uh, uh, if that is uh, the case, uh, I said, uh, you're going to church every day and receiving Holy Communion. Is that the way you? Uh, uh, that's the way you uh, pray to the Lord. Well, it's so easy to pray. It's so easy to receive Holy Communion, but to forgive, that she could not. Uh, that she could not take. Or, for example, some of uh, the other uh, will of God. Uh, our Lord uh, says, if you want to be my disciple, carry your cross and follow me. He said it sometimes that uh, in married life, uh, well, uh, some couples, when they are really tired of each other, carrying their burden of crosses, then uh, uh, they will uh, break up or even separate. You know, there was a couple, they were always quarreling. And um, that Sunday, uh, the husband left the house. 
and he went to the church. At nung nagbunubos sa simbahan na nalangin ng mataimtim. And then, uh, after the Mass, uh, umuwi siya, he went home. And you know, he went around looking for the wife. And the wife was cooking at the kitchen. And you know what the husband did? You know, from behind, he hugged the wife. And then, he lifted the wife. And the wife was uh, uh, amazed. And uh, she said, why did you do that? You even came from the church. Did the priest tell you to be romantic? And the husband said, no. He did not tell me to be romantic. But he said, if you wish to be my follower, carry your cross. Ayun pala eh, kanyang interpretation ng cross. No? And the cross was the wife. Well, of course, this is not... Uh, uh, this doesn't happen to all couples, but sometimes uh, the crosses that we carry are our problems. And uh, for example, uh, this uh, challenge about uh, this uh, pandemic that we are going through, people who are out of jobs, uh, businessmen who are... Uh, uh, who do not know what to do with uh, the loss of uh, their businesses and even uh, uh, their money. So, you know, my dear brothers and sisters, these are the difficulties, the crosses, that sometimes it's very difficult to understand a good and loving God. But our Lord uh, tells us that Life is not a bed of uh, roses, not all comfort. And uh, there are really times in our lives that we experience the difficulty of being a follower of our Lord. But he wants us to continue. After all, he himself, even though he was a Messiah, the Son of God, he had to suffer. And he could not really uh, turn down the will of the Father that he had to carry his cross, to be nailed to the cross, and eventually die. But after all these sufferings, there was also glory, and uh, he was able to save us from sin and death. So, dear brothers and sisters, let us remember that amidst our difficulties, especially this time of uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, let us say if sometimes our crosses are very heavy. As St. Peter said, Lord, to whom do we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have come to believe that you are really the Son of God. Amen.